Okay, here is our next video for Song of the Wind. And we're going to do sort of the second half of Song of the Wind where we're going to create these little train cars that we will hitch up to one another. And we get to do this two times in the song, uh, almost right after each other, okay? There will be one car that is different at the very end, um, but three of them are exactly the same. So if you imagine them being, um, I don't know, maybe the same color, but they carry different notes inside, and then the very last one will be yellow, and then we'll have another set of three blue cars, and then the last one will be red, something like that. Um, and here, we're gonna start with the E string, and then go to Twinkle D, and we're gonna practice that. Sticky bows, okay, just like before, as we did our hopping third finger, we did that stop, stop. That's gonna be our stroke for Song of the Wind. And here we go, E and then Twinkle D. Ready? And. Great, so here we go, back to E. Ready? And. Good. So now we'll go back, ready, and and back to E, ready, and awesome. So that's one little car. Now we're going to start from Twinkle D and it's going to pop, and then we're gonna walk down a step to C sharp, okay? So a little strong pull. I don't know if the video will show you that little pop, depending on audio, but here we go. Ready, D, and out to C sharp. Awesome. Here we go again. Ready, and C sharp. Good job. So again, we'll set up our twinkle D. Ready, and. Really nice and sticky bows as a feature of Song of the Wind that we have continuous sticky bows throughout it, except when we have circles. Here we go again. D to C sharp. Ready, and. Awesome. So that's another little train car. The final one that follows this pattern. And that is C sharp, and we will walk down to B. So beautiful left hand. We'll set up that nice big C sharp. Make sure it's close to that second tape, but not on the second tape. We'll roll over to the A string, and we're gonna follow the same pattern as we've done before. We'll play one C sharp and come to the B. Ready? And excellent. Let's set up our C sharp again. Ready and all right, here we go for a third time. Ready and all right, we'll do one more. Ready and Excellent. Okay, now what we're gonna do is you can pause and practice each little section until they're comfortable. That could take, well, you know, however long it's going to take you. You'll know when it's time to put them together. And that's this next portion. Okay, you've decided you're ready. And we're going to connect each little train car to each other. So here we go. Good violin position. Our bow, we're gonna start on the E, go to twinkle D. And we're gonna connect each one of these that we just practiced. Ready, and twinkle D. Awesome, now we're gonna connect the next car, which starts with twinkle D, and we'll walk down to C sharp. D is first, twinkle D. Ready, and C sharp. 
Ooh, that sound was not so good, but we're gonna continue with our little train. We're gonna now start with C sharp and walk down to our B. Ready? And. Excellent. And now we've just connected the three patterns together. Ready? And. Start with D down to C sharp. Ready? And. Now connect C sharp to B. Ready? And. Awesome. All right. Here we go, back to E and follow the same pattern. And D to C sharp and C sharp to B. Awesome. Okay, so those are sort of these little stepping down um, little blocks that we put together. Now, in the next video, we're going to start to put Song of the Wind into the piece that it is.